Feminine Psychology As a woman trained in the promasculine psychology of Freud, Horney gradually realized that the traditional psychoanalytic view of women was skewed. She then set forth her own theory, one that rejected several of Freud's basic ideas. For Homi, psychic differences between men and women are not the result of anatomy but rather of cultural and social expectations. Men who subdue and rule women and women who degrade or envy men do so because of the neurotic competitiveness that is rampant in many societies. Homi insisted that basic anxiety is at the core of men's need to subjugate women and women's wish to humiliate men. Although Homi recognized the existence of the Oedipus complex, she insisted that it was due to certain environmental conditions and not to biology. If it were the result of anatomy, as Freud contended, then it would be universal, as Freud indeed believed. However, Horney saw no evidence for a universal Oedipus complex. Instead, she held that it is found only in some people and is an expression of the neurotic need for love. The neurotic need for affection and the neurotic need for aggression usually begin in childhood and are two of the three basic neurotic trends. A child may passionately cling to one parent and express jealousy toward the other, but these behaviors are means of alleviating basic anxiety and not manifestations of an anatomically based Oedipus complex. Even when there is a sexual aspect to these behaviors, the child's main goal is security, not sexual intercourse. Horney found the concept of penis envy even less tenable. She contended that here is no more anatomical reason why girls should be envious of the penis than boys should desire a breast or a womb. In fact, boys sometimes do express a desire to have a baby, but this desire is not the result of a universal male womb envy. Horney agreed with Adler that many women possess a masculine protest, that is, they have a pathological belief that men are superior to women. This perception easily leads to the neurotic desire to be a man. The desire, however, is not an expression of penis envy but rather a wish for all those qualities or privileges which in our culture are regarded as masculine. This view is nearly identical to that expressed by Erickson and discussed in Chapter 9. In 1994, Bernard J. Paris published a talk that Horney had delivered in 1935 to a professional and business women's club in which she summarized her ideas on feminine psychology. By that time Homi was less interested in differences between men and women than in a general psychology of both genders. Because culture and society are responsible for psychological differences between women and men, Horney felt that it was not so important to try to find the answer to the question about differences as to understand and analyze the real significance of this keen interest in feminine nature. Horney concluded her speech by saying that once and for all we should stop bothering about what is feminine and what is not. Such concerns only undermine our energies. Standards of masculinity and femininity are artificial standards. All that we definitely know at present about sex differences is that we do not know what they are. Scientific differences between the two sexes certainly exist, but we shall never be able to discover what they are until we have first developed our potentialities as human beings. Paradoxical as it may sound, we shall find out about these differences only if we forget about them.